You know, there are very few shrubs that say summer like uh, hydrangeas do, and I'm here with Sean at Portland Nursery on Stark Street, and we're going to be talking about hydrangeas. But you know, Sean, most of us think of the big round mop head type hydrangeas, sure. so before we get to that one, okay. let's talk about some of the other ones that you all carry here. All right, well, yeah, that's the most popular one, of course, but uh, some of the somewhat more unusual ones might include, um, well, if I can get to it, this is what's called an oak leaf hydrangea. Beautiful. And you'll notice the shape of the leaf is quite Looks different. like an oak leaf, kind right. of. Right. That's the primary difference is that uh, the difference there. It still grows a hydrangea-style blossom, though they're a bit more conical in shape, you know, more of a cone on, generally speaking, a rather large bush. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. And what about the fall color on this? It gets pretty brilliant red, doesn't it? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Yeah, yeah it's prob <laughs> probably the best of them, I think. Yeah. I, I may be proven it wrong really there, is, but they yeah. are, they're really quite reddish and compared to the more typical yellows of the, the hydrangea macrophyllas. Okay. Yeah. What next do you have for us? Well, I've got a climbing hydrangea here, and it's actually the last one we have right now, <laughs> but we do have some other types. Um, this is called uh, Hydrangea Anomala Subspecies Petiolaris. There will nice. not be a test. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> glad I got that out. Um, it is a climbing vine. In fact, it's a self-clinging climbing vine in the same way That's that ivies handy. will yeah. grab onto walls and such. So you really wouldn't have to have a trellis for this to work then? No, not nice. really. Maybe we should get it started, but that's uh -huh. at most, and maybe not even that. Um, large, large growing vine, once it gets established, it can cover a, a large wall. Nice. Uh, and very impressive, smaller white dome flowers later in summer. Really nice. On that one. <laughs> and then I noticed, I thought there was another one here, but I know there's other varieties of hydrangeas that are climbers as well. Absolutely, yes. There's, um, that I know of, at least three species that are climbers alone. There's some 40 or 50 odd species yeah. of hydrangea out there. We don't have family. to cover them all. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so now, if, if you've, and believe me, at, at uh, Portland Nursery on Start Street, they have a great selection of all kinds of hydrangeas, but really when you think of them, you tend to think, big round blue blooms. Of course. Now you have several of them here, but I see some pink ones, I see some lovely variegation. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk about a little bit, you know, what, what's going on with them? Sure. Hydrangeas, uh, Hydrangea macrophylla, which is the most common species of them, mm -hmm. uh, includes most of what you see here, all of these guys and up into there. They are the either mop head or lace cap bloom, and if I could... Right here? Yeah, yes. Um, that is a lace cap bloom where the inner flowers do not open as fully. Sure. As on the mop heads. Um, so those are the two basic categories, shall we? Uh -huh. um, and they can come in any range of colors from white, pink, lavender to blue. Okay. Okay. Um, the white ones tend to just be that, and it's a simpler subject. That being said, the pink ones and blue ones and everything in between, while they have a natural color for each different type that mm -hmm. you might want to look at or purchase, um, they can be manipulated. Okay. The flower color depends on without getting too technical, the acidity of the soil and the presence of aluminum. And so, quite simply, you can add either lime or aluminum to adjust the, the color, color of, of the flowers. And, you know, I think a lot of people think, too, Sean, that once you, if you have a true pink hydrangea, you can make that blue. That's not really true. Not you have precisely. to get one that's, that you can change, so a pink will never turn dark blue. But you have to, you know, get some, and, you know, no better place to go than Portland Nursery on Stark Street to find out that information. <laughs> so, you know, there's a whole ton of hydrangeas. As Sean said, the family is huge. They have a great selection out here right now. Uh, we would certainly encourage you to go to gardentime.tv and click over to the Portland Nursery website to find out, for, find out more information. But certainly come on down, shop yeah, their selection, talk to Sean. He'll give you all the information <laughs> you need. Thanks so much, Sean. Thank you, William.